Mm -hmm. The Adoption and Safe Families Act, oh. <laughs> 1997 federal statute that requires states to provide safe and permanent homes yes, for abused and neglected children within shorter periods uh -huh, than those required by earlier state and federal laws. Oh, <laughs> could you get me a copy of that law? Yeah. <laughs> See, um, this idea of adopting and having a safe family, <laughs> I have documented, ooch, that uh, my five sons, yes, are not living in a safe place. <laughs> my wife abducted them from Guam, yes. You issued protection orders because she said I was crazy, yes. Then you kept reissuing them, ooch, and you kept reissuing them, yes. And then you kept reissuing them, yes. And it seemed that mm -hmm, somebody had told you that really I'm a wealthy man. Mm -hmm. Now let's see what happens when you use a forgery to issue a protection order. Yes. It should have been that you removed your court orders. Yes. Because my sons are living in an unsafe place. Now anytime you can bribe a judge... Brent, ooh, Kogenauer, Porter, um, Newport. <laughs> Anytime you can, bl oh, well, <laughs> here we go again, okay? <laughs> this is a forgery. Oh, <laughs> anytime a judge, yes, issues a court order using a forgery, it is indicative <clears throat> of a very unsafe home life. <clears throat> now, I told you I wanted custody of them. Yes, I proved to you that I never got notice of court hearings. Yes. Yeah. And for some reason, I'm sitting here because you refuse to force the fucking laws. Now that's a forgery. Oh, there is no signature. No, <laughs> there's no signature here. No, <laughs> this could be a forgery. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> because you're twins and lookalikes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> now, I want you to understand antitrust law today. Yes. And then I want you to understand that when you arrest somebody for an allegation of a crime, yeah, where you have the evidence that they committed no crime, yes, and you refuse to exonerate them, I'm saying my sons are living in the wrong place. Pooch. Now, I know, Pooch, okay? You're going to go to prison for the rest of your fucking lives right now. Because you're working for big money, aren't you? Pooch. Big money. Mm-hmm. Now, I would say that it's an unsafe place for uh, Legina to live. Yes. When Mike uh, exploits her, the, the, the adopted daughter. Yes. Now, um, antitrust law. Oh, did you not understand that you're violating the laws? Do you not? Is there some fuck? Do you not understand how many laws you've been violating? You know, I, I didn't want to have to email any more attorneys. What I wanted you to do, yes, I wanted you to remove your fraud. Yes, I wanted all the forgeries removed from the court system. Yes, I wanted to speak to Marilyn, mm -hmm, and I want custody of my sons. Yes, now, I am really very, very wealthy. Yes, and every day for the last eight years, you've obstructed me from getting that wealth. Yes. Now, since you as a court don't seem to understand exactly how antitrust works, yes, we're going to talk about you representing the governor of the antitrust. Mm -mm. See, it seems like antitrust guidelines for the licensing of intellectual property. <laughs> Set of criteria jointly issued by the Antitrust Division of the United States Department of Justice and the FTC <laughs> that those agencies apply, <laughs> deciding whether to initiate an investigation or enforcement action as a result of restrictions of patent, copyright, trade secrets, <laughs> know how licenses, <laughs> antitrust law, <laughs> the body of law designed to protect trade and commerce from restraints, yes, <laughs> monopolies, <laughs> price fixing and price discrimination. Now, I emailed approximately 100 attorneys in D.C. Yes. And I, I just want all of you to know, mm -hmm. if you work for the state, federal, county, city government, yes, and you went off to work for one of these law firms right now, I'll sue the fuck out of you. 